Hi, this video will teach you about how can we make a VR game by climbing the scores. So uh, our objective of this game is we'll collect the toys. So uh, by clicking the toy, uh, it will decrease the number of toy left. So I will use a variable storing it and it will update the scoreboard here. So let's begin. So first of all, I need to enable the unicorns used in code blocks so that I can code it. And I need to do it as well with the test marker. So here, in order to uh, make it more distinguishable while we are using it in the uh, code blocks, I will rename it as score board. And I will enable using code blocks as well, enabled. And then we will go to the code. So in order to differ from the code that I made before, I will create a new group of code blocks here. And I will rename it as game to be more presentable. And uh, before I set the actions, I need to create a variable for it. So go to data, set variable, score. So here, uh, Beware that here by default it is a text, but we need to use minus a calculation for scores, so we need to replace it with a number block from the values here, values. And uh, at the beginning it should be three. So I'll just set it as three. And then we set the actions. So we go to the events. When something is clicked, and I need to be the unicorn this click. And what when I click the unicorn, so I need to decrease the score by one. So we'll go to data again. And we will change the variable score by negative one. And then I will remove the unicorn so that it's disappeared after collecting it. So go to items. Delete the unicorn. And at last, I need to update the scoreboard display. So we'll go to the actions. And we'll find the set text of scoreboard. And here it should be showing toy left colon and the variable scores. So it should be two here. So uh, I need to make use of the uh, join text similar to what we talked teach in the in the term event in term one. So in code spaces, so it should be called create string with in the data. So create string with, and uh, the first it should be the toy left colons, and then it should be the variable score. So we go up. And we'll find the variable score place here. Okay. And then when I click the play button, so when I click on the unicorn, so the unicorn disappeared and it's done. 